And basically, in the end, you say, go and sin no more. Because that's where we are. If go, we don't go, do anything about it... Go, go, government still hold between 41 and 31% in Absolutely. the Odijenkos and the Discos. Do you think this is the year President Buhari should take the bull by the horn and sell down on the government's holdings in, in both no. the Jenkos and the Discos? Sell down one, but before then, make sure that the guys who, who bought it are those that have the capacity. We should have done this two years ago, but let's do it now. So we need to revisit that Absolutely. privatization. Absolutely, and then forbearance. There's no way you can make omelette without breaking eggs. Therefore, you must give, you know, you must give them for, and then more important, cost-reflective tariffs. I agree the, in principle that you have cost-reflective tariffs. It's not good, it's not expedient to do it in an election year, but then you will have to subsidize those who are producing power to the extent that they can cover us until after the elections and after we review, the, we have the economic uh, intervention programs that will bring up about minimum wage and so many things put together, get our taxes tax mobilization together. At that point, you can then, you know, come up and step up with the cost-reflective tariffs. But even without, with cost-reflective tariffs, public power supply is four times cheaper than alternative power supply. Uh, let's take stocks of uh, 2017 uh, with you if you look at the president's speech as, uh, as a basis for this. So uh, I, I will thank you for those very interesting and enlightening uh, graphic illustrations you, your team have put together for, for, for us. So let's start with the, you. Uh, well, the first you said that it's a year of mixed fortunes, more yes. propaganda uh, and less, less analysis. Yes. Do you think, don't you think this administration did of less propaganda last year, uh, which ended yesterday, uh, and less of analysis? Do you think they've really gotten down to business? Well, I think first and foremost, we had a year in which the budget was passed in May. So the first five months was lost in politicking. The president was out on medical vacation. The uh, acting president was took on the Niger Delta, got the, the guys under control, constructively engaged, the pipelines were. So from Q2, we started seeing the effect of collective uh, responsibility at the cabinet level, even though the president was out, but the president was coordinating. So we saw some results begin to happen. But basically, it, there was more propaganda and less analysis from, uh, you know, everybody were compromised because we're, we're going to an election year. And now what we need is less propaganda and more analysis so that we can act, actually address the issues. So there was remarkable progress, uh, limited accomplishments, but, we're, you know, you must acknowledge progress and celebrate success. In terms of what was on paper, what's yes. said, what yeah, was what's said? Uh, what was said and what, we, what you could see. Okay. Because in, in we saw tangibles. Yeah, because after five consecutive quarters of negative growth, you got a slight leap. We went from to 0.55, revised to 0.76, then went to 0.1.4. Uh, that is significant because the momentum continues to drive. We we saw the naira which crashed to 5.20 in the first quarter, actually recover. No, by, this time, by this time last year we were, we're in 520. 5.20. By yeah. January 1st we're in around 520. Yeah. And so you, uh, diesel was 275, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's 195. So that and that's a major driver. So if you look at 2017, was it good? Was it bad? Or was it annoying? Um, I think it, <laughs> it's a mixed bag. <laughs> there, there, were good, there were good things, there were bad things, and then there are annoying and avoidable, self-inflicted wounds were there. And what, what annoyed you in 2017? Well, I think that to a large extent, the delay in getting things done, right? The budget was not the budget was not you know, and there was too much talk is cheap, well less action. So, if in the year you actually spent only 30 percent of the capital budget, uh, of 30 percent of the 30 percent, right? Then you had salary areas, you had the highest. Misery index, right? And so they, they were self-inflicted wounds. It, 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 uh, you know, but it could have been worse. And so let's recognize the fact that we had output increase, we had oil stabilized, we had oil price at least 40% higher than what we planned it to be, right? And therefore, it, it, it wasn't a bad year. But do you think there were what you called uh, most questions that were left unanswered in uh, in, in 2017, 17. you think there were a lot of questions okay, that were the not question, answered? The question every Nigerian wants to know, where were you on January 1st, 2017? You were either in Nigeria, you know, you were in diaspora, or you were on the way to Libya, or on the way to Italy. So as an immigrant, 
mm. uh, which is right. So yeah. Yeah. for those who are, in, uh, who are in Nigeria, you and I, we had to ask the question, how were you feeling? Were you happy? Were you limping or were you miserable? Okay, so you've got to ask yourself that question. So everybody out there listening has to ask themselves, where were you in January 1 last year? Were you in Nigeria? Were you an immigrant? Or were you just um, you know, in diaspora? Were you, were you miserable, were you happy, were you limping? And then what were you? Were you affluent? Were you average? Or were you a survivor? Oh, that, that's a little bit easy for me to answer. Yeah, so... Uh, that's of course, that's a, that, that looks like a, a, bit, a bit of an easy question. Yeah. Uh, that's, that looks like an objective question. Yes. Uh, I should be able to have an answer there yeah. uh, to, to that one. Of course, I was in Nigeria, but a number of Nigerians will believe that they were in Nigeria, yes, physically speaking, but yeah. they feel like an immigrant. Yes. Mentally, they were on their way to Libya mm. or Italy. Because of the situation of things? Absolutely. Okay, let's go back after the break. We, we need to speak to uh, a number of things on the scorecard, on the evaluation, yes. and a lot of on Asa's question. And I want to check my state of misery oh, uh, yes. in 2017. <laughs> ask if, I am, if I was Mr. Affluent, Mr. Average, or Mr. Survival. That's what we're asking next with Business Macro the First word in 2018 here on Business Morning.